A pen set is a classic gift for any occasion, be it a birthday, graduation, or promotion. We're not talking pens of the inexpensive ballpoint variety, but rather those Cadillac models in sleek metal or sumptuous wood. The quill dates back to about 700 AD. Made from a bird feather, its tip had to be repeatedly dipped in ink. Messy and inefficient, the quill remained the norm for more than a thousand years. In 1884, an American invented the fountain pen with its built-in refillable ink barrel. But the true revolution came with the no-fuss ballpoint pen patented by two Hungarian brothers in 1938. Handcrafted wooden pens can be made from just one type of wood or from a combination of woods. This artisan uses some 50 different kinds, ranging from domestic maple and oak to imported rosewood, ebony, olive wood, and purple heart. When using just one type of wood, he runs the block through a bandsaw, cutting a strip 6 tenths of an inch wide. Then, with the radial saw, he cuts that strip into two pieces, each about two inches long. These will become the pen's top and bottom casings. Using a tool called a drill press, he bores a hole roughly three-tenths of an inch in diameter right through each piece. Making a pen from a combination of woods takes a little more work. Instead of using a block of solid wood, he constructs a block by gluing together thin planks of contrasting woods. Once the glue dries, he uses a wood planer to remove the excess and smooth out the sides. Then, just as he did for the single wood pen, he cuts the block into strips six tenths of an inch wide. This time, he slices diagonally, so that each strip showcases the multiple woods. Again, he cuts pieces for the top and bottom casings, then drills a hole through them. From this point on, whether he's using one or more woods, the process is the same. He coats two brass tubes with glue and inserts one in each casing. A few drops of water are added to expand the adhesive into any gaps between the tube and surrounding wood. These brass tubes will house the pen's mechanism. The glue takes about an hour to dry. Then he uses what's called a hand mill to square all the angles and remove the excess glue. Now for the artistic part. He turns the casings on a lathe to shape them. First, he rounds them out. Then, using a series of tools, he gives each casing unique detailing. He highlights the grooves by using the heat that friction generates to burn them dark. When the design work's done, he runs sanding cord inside the grooves. Then he sands the surface three times with progressively finer sandpaper. To protect the wood, he varnishes the casings with four coats of hardwood floor varnish, sanding between each application. When the last coat dries, he can assemble the pen starting with the tip. He glues it to the bottom casing, tapping it with a mallet to ensure it's fully inserted. The tip is made of titanium, a very resilient metal. Next comes the clip, also made of titanium, 
He glues it into the top casing. Finally, using a vise, he forces in the pen's mechanism. The mechanism houses a replaceable ink cartridge. A titanium ring joins the two casings. As an added touch, the pen can be personalized with an engraved clip. And the gift box can bear the recipient's name or a corporate logo. A pen set is a classic gift for any occasion, be it a birthday, graduation, or promotion. We're not talking pens of the inexpensive ballpoint variety, but rather those Cadillac models in sleek metal or sumptuous wood. The quill dates back to about 700 AD. Made from 